Hi, this is Raina from thecheesethief.com and today I'm going to do a bit of a different tutorial and this is in response to the Rainbow Loom Apps Against Bullying uh, hashtag that's been out there and Rainbow Loom set out a message about bullying and cyberbullying and a lot of people have started sharing their apps as a response to just being nice on, on Instagram and creating a community. So I'm going to show you how to create this very typical, very popular Rainbow Loom picture. Um, it has your bracelet and then some text on the side in gradient color and all I use is an app called Fonto, P-H-O-N-T-O. -O. So let's get started. So this is actually just a picture that I have, um, but I'm going to open up my app. So you would go to the app store and download this app called Fonto. And then um, it just opens up in this blank screen and then I'm going to just click on this camera button over here and then go to my photo albums all photos and I'm gonna open up just my picture that I took and this is my secret garden bracelet that I haven't yet published a tutorial for yet but that will be out soon I'm gonna hit done and then that's the picture and I want to do a crop on it so I just click on the bottom Let me show that again I click on this and I do a square crop and then I'll just shift it over just a little like so and then I'll hit done so that's my image with the square crop and now I wanted to add text to it and the, with the gradient rainbow colors which is very popular amongst um, rainbow loomers on the Instagram community so let's type the name of my bracelet which is secret garden and I'm going to do secret in one text and then in one font and then garden in another font so I'm going to change the font and I already have a font that I loaded called GJB coffee shop espresso so I'm going to choose that one and I actually loaded that one from uh, dafont.com, D-A-F-O-N-T.com. So I'll teach you how to do that uh, in a little bit. But let me just get this secret here, this font. And then I'm going to choose the style. And I want it to be this rainbow gradient, super popular on Instagram with um, the Looming community. And right now it's just staggered text. So instead of that, I'm going to go up here. And I'm going to change it to gradient. You see how now it's like gradient it goes from orange to red. But I don't really like the orange to red, so I'm just going to click on this button over here. And it has a bunch of presets. You can create your own, but I'm just going to go with the default. Um, like there, that's like a rainbow one. And I'm going to hit apply. And then if you wanted a white background on your um, on your text, like a stroke, a a white out outline you can do a stroke but I'm not going to do that for this um, one so I'm just gonna hit done and let's just change the size to make it a little bigger so that's just the size button okay and then I'm going to add another text and that says garden and I want that to be a different font and this font I'm using is called always in my heart and this is another font font that I downloaded online I'll show you how to do that in my last step. Um, I'm going to hit done, put it right there, and then the size, I'll just make it slightly bigger, like that. So, and then now I just want to add one more piece of text that says, um, buy at the cheese thief hit done and if I oops. and then for the size I'm gonna make that smaller like that and if I wanted to change the font of it I would go so this is the fonts that I have that I installed this is the fonts that come with the app but I wanted completely different font so if I, I would go into my Safari and then I would go to dafont com. hit OK and then I want like a handwritten font so you just click handwritten over there and it just comes with a bunch of different fonts that you can choose from those hundreds so 
let's just choose, and this is that always in my heart that I use. So let's just choose this like take it or leave it font. And then I clicked on the download and it takes me to the screen and I'm going to click open in Fonto. And then I'm going to hit install on the bold one version. And then once it's installed, I close that and I go to my fonts and you see I have take it or leave it now, which is super cool. So then now I change that to take it or leave it. And then if you want to save your image, you just click on this bottom button right over here. And then you can do save image or you can actually send it directly to Instagram. Oh, and then an ad pops up because this is a free app. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please visit me at thecheesethief.com for more tutorials like this. And just uh, let's band together and stop the bullying and be kind to one another. Thanks and have a great day. Bye.